are eight weeks old. She still does the strut and thing. She got 13 eggs in. Hey y'all, I'm Amy and welcome back to Misty Dawn Farm. I okay, hang on, hang on, hang on everybody. Alright y'all, I'm Annabelle. Annabelle. I said we can hear the goats for a minute. Toby. Annabelle. Annabelle. Woo! We'll talk to you for a few minutes about couple of things. Number one, these boys are eight weeks old now. These boys. These boys are eight weeks old. Annabelle, please don't chew on the camera. And they will be getting, they will be getting castrated. Two of them are getting castrated. One of them is staying intact in two weeks, and then I'll keep them for a week to um, observe, and then they will be going to their new homes. So, come over here, and my little, my little Tobias here. He's always in my pocket. Little Tob Tob here. He is wearing his goat apron now. Hold on, I'm gonna show him your goat apron, dude. Dude, dude, he wears a goat apron so that we don't have any unplanned babies. And Tobias, tub tub. Okay. And so the first thing I was gonna tell you out here is that the about the boys, and the second thing is about this one right here. Oh my goodness, doing videos is hard. Come here, Annabelle. Annabelle. Annabelle, Annabelle. Okay, so Annabelle apparently went into heat. Um, Willow was very bucky and the boys were thinking they were gonna do stuff. And so Annabelle here, Tobias, stab it. Annabelle, this one, she went back into heat. And so, But I'm not gonna rebreed her. I'm not gonna attempt to rebreed her um, yet because I don't want to have a babies in the middle of the hot, hottest part of summer. I didn't observe a heat for the past couple of times, so I thought she was bred. I was like, okay, but y'all, she's not. So, so Annabelle here. I'm gonna attempt to rebreed her in July so that she would have hopefully babies in November. So the next thing that's going on out here in the barn is my little frizzle hen pickles has gone broody again. She goes broody all the time and she has sat lots of chicken eggs. She has sat duck eggs. She is a fantastic little setter and a fantastic little mama. And so she's been out here with just Bob Ross. Just her and Bob Ross are the free ranging chickens. Let me show you him real quick. All right, so this guy here is Bob Ross. He is a Turkin Polish. He and Pickles have been out here and he's been doing what roosters do. And now Pickles laid a nest of eggs up under here. And I thought y'all, hold on Berenger. I thought she had like four, maybe five eggs in there. Turns out she has 13. I'm gonna show y'all just a second. But she's got 13 eggs under there. All right, so down up under here, this is where the goats have their um, sh their things they sit on. But here she is up under here. What? It, well, who's on my back? It's Toby. Oh, Toby. Dude, get off my back. All right, so here's little Miss Pickles. 
in her little nest up under here. She's in a spot where the goats cannot get to her in here. So Behringer can. So I haven't been letting Bear on this side. Um, but yeah, she's got 13 eggs under there. All right, so she's up under there. But anyway, um, I'm gonna let her set the eggs because I think they'll be the funniest looking little things. So I'm letting her set and she's a really good mom. Um, I'm probably going to, once she sets for a good week or two, I'll probably get her set up in a little cage. When I move her with her eggs, she does just fine. She'll, she doesn't, it doesn't break her broodiness. She stays on them. This little brooder here that I have out here, I'm going to be putting the turkeys out here. So they'll be put out here in about a week or so. I'm letting this last bit of a cold snap go through and then I'll put the turkeys out here. And so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with her. I might pull out like an old rabbit cage or something and put her in that. I've done that before when she had ducklings. So anyway, tub tub, tub tub. So anyway, there's going to be some little frizzle turkin Polish babies in, let's see, she started sitting, so in about 19 days. It's gonna be about 19 days. So y'all, the Duke and Duchess here are doing fantastic. I've got to figure out a way to do their food because I put it in this bowl and then they just spill it and it goes everywhere. But y'all, the Duke has started doing like his hail thing. I caught a little clip of it the other day and I put it on my social media, but he doesn't have like the big peacock feathers, but he still does the strutting thing and he does like the little dance thing and they make the little sounds. It is really cool. Now, the last time I talked to y'all, I told you that I was going to be having some new animals come to the farm and a couple different things. One of them got delayed. That one I'll have to share with you in another week or two, but the other ones are multiple ones. Oh my goodness, Willow. And <laughs> my goodness, big girl, Willow, Willow. Well, do you want to share? Come here. Come here. Come here. You want to share with everybody what, what else came to the farm? Do you want to share? Huh? She says, no, please. Eating. No, eating. Come here. All right. We'll talk about it with Boom Boom. Oh, little Boom Boom. Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> All right, y'all. The other thing is 11... I'm not trying to, I'm trying to draw this out. <laughs> Stuff just keeps happening. Okay, 11 laying hens. 11 new laying hens from Tim and Crystal, uh, my husband's cousin and his wife, have come now to live on the farm. And I'm excited because two of them are light Brahmas, which I had light Brahmas a year ago and we all quit um um i had a rooster and a hen and i lost to them we had a situation of sickness in our fowl last year and i lost quite a few different birds and um these two light brahmas were two of them that i lost and so i have two beautiful light brahma hens i have wanted some speckled Sussex laying hens for quite a while. And I had one at one point in time, y'all. This was probably three years, three or four years ago. Her name was Pancake. 
the meanest chicken I've ever had in my life. Like, just flat out mean. Like, I I would try to, if I had to catch her or move her or whatever, y'all, she'd grab hold of any bit of skin she could. And she'd hang on for dear life, ripping and pulling. And she'd do like the rooster clawing thing. <laughs> Willow, ma'am. <laughs> um, Annabelle, this is not a scratching post for your horns, dear. And so she didn't stay around because she wasn't safe to have with my small children. So I got two, there were two speckled Sussex, which was really cool. There are two barred rocks, which is really cool. There is um, two Easter eggers, pretty bearded Batman. What do you want, a booty scratch? Huh? Two bearded Easter egger girls. Um, there's, there's a couple of different ones that I'm not exactly sure what they are. There's three that I don't know exactly what they are, but they're really pretty. So y'all, I'm excited. He's shedding. Dude, dude, say yep, winter is over. <laughs> Time to shed that coat. My goodness. Okay. Okay, why do you smell kind of bucky? You been hanging out with Toby? Anyway, y'all, 11 beautiful new laying hens to add to the farm, which means that between my new laying hens and the fact that spring has sprung and my chickens are all laying now, I'm getting ready to put my farm stand back down uh, by the road because I'm gonna be able to have eggs available now. All right, y'all, it's time for some evening chores. Alright y'all, thanks for hanging out with me this evening. Until next time, keep on the sunny side.